Okay, we're getting close here. We're getting close to the final aspects of this. We need some shape. We need to build some shape back in. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this with adjustment layers. Now you can use this method over and over again. So we're going to get a curve. Let me get another adjustment layer and I'm going to get another curve. So I've loaded two curves. I'm going to call this curve my burn. And this one is going to be my dodge. And with them, I'm going to go to linear burn for the burn and invert the mask by hitting command I. So I'll get a mask filled with black. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to put this into linear dodge. And here I'm going to invert the mask. So here, basically, what I'm going to do with the dodge layer is I'm going to get a brush and I'm going to paint with white. So I'm going to flip to white as my foreground color. And I'm going to get a fairly small, short brush, 50% flow and maybe 20, 25% opacity. And we'll get in a little bit closer. And I want to size my brush so it's just on in the inside of the of the, uh, the iris. And I want to go around with one stroke, around once. And then I'll do the other iris. Get a little bit bigger brush. And now we'll go to the burn. And now I'm going to get a smaller brush. And this time I'm also going to get less of a percentage, maybe 15% or so. And I'm just going to do the fringe or the very edge of the iris around once. Should be enough. To give it that darkening effect. And let's back out a little bit and let's see the effect that that has done. It's brought that shape back in the iris. And if you find that the, uh, the outer edges are a little bit too distinct, then you're going to want to take this and run a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And if you watch this as you bring the blur out, you'll actually soften the edges. Not being overly responsive here. Getting the spinning wheel of death. But you can use the, the Gaussian blur tool to to do that to make sure you get a little bit less finesse or a little bit more subtle transitions. But that's how we built shape back into. Now you can see that we've bought we've brought some extreme aspects of color and of the whites of the eyes and the teeth but now when we when we get done we're getting we're nearing that point when we're done with the eyes we're going to start to blend these things together so they make sense in the overall scheme of things so we are working a little bit hot when we do this